So if you notice so far, all the conversions have been really, really nice. No decimal places, no nothing. Well, that's all going to change. We're going to make some things a little bit more complicated because what I want to show you here is what happens if you get a nice number that doesn't divide nicely into any of our conversion factors. Oh boy, we're in trouble now, aren't we? Well, not really. There's several different ways of doing this. Some of it is actually mental math that you can figure out on your own. For example, I'll do this 63 inches one here in terms of man mental math and, and convert it into feet. Now, I know that if you think about it, an inch over here, one foot is 12 inches. Okay. So I'm going to go by multiples. I'm going to say, okay, there's one foot is 12 inches. Two feet is 24 inches. Okay. Three feet is 36 inches. Four feet is going to be 48 inches. And five feet is going to be 60 inches. And if you look, 60 inches over here. Okay. And all I did was go up by multiples of 12. Okay. All I did was go up by multiples of 12. You'll notice that I have some remaining. So if you think about it, 5 feet is 60 inches. Well, I got 63 inches. So, so far I've got 5 feet. That takes care of the 60 inches from the 63. So you know that 63 minus 60 ends up with 3 inches left. 3 inches left over. But sometimes when you're going to be dealing with something a lot larger, this could be a really, really difficult thing to do in terms of doing some kind of sequence like this, okay? So I want to show you how to do this still with what we learned with dimensional analysis because that's my favorite, okay? I love dimensional analysis. I'm going to show you the exact same thing using dimensional analysis. When it's a simple question like this one, just do it mentally. But if it's a more technical question, yes, dimensional analysis works very, very nicely. Okay, so I start with my 63 inches right here. I know I'm going to have to put the inches on the bottom because that's got to convert it out. That means i got to cancel it out, okay? I know I want feet on the top here. So I know that there's 12 inches in one foot. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to be dividing. That makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. Now, 63 divided by 12 here, okay, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get 5, but you're also going to get a remainder. I'll prove it to you. Bring up the calculator. Here's the calculator. Clear this guy out. Here we go. I'm going to go 63 divided by 12, and I'm going to get an answer of 5.25. Wait a second. This is 5.25. Wait a, wait a minute. That means this is 5 feet and 0.25 of a foot. That's not the question, what the question is asking. It says, I want it in inches. In inches. So guess what? I'm just going to have to do a secondary conversion. That's all. I'm going to take this 0.25, which, remember, was converted into feet, and I want to convert it back into inches. So feet go on the bottom, inches goes on top, and I'm going to say one foot is 12 inches, and all I have to do is just... Again, straight out multiply. Watch this. I'll bring up the calculator. 0.25. There's the 0.25 right here. Times the 12 inches. And guess what I get? I get 3. There's my 3 inches. So in fact, whether you do this mental math wise or you do this using a conversion of 5 feet, 3 inches, okay, whether you use one way or the other, it doesn't matter. It all works out the same. Okay, so let's do one more calculation with a number that's a little bit larger, and let's see what happens. Convert 140 inches into or 140 inches into feet and inches. Okay, so let's start. 140 here, 140 inches into feet. So we want feet on top. We want to divide out the inches on the bottom. I know one foot is 12 inches. Boom, boom, that's gone. It's going to give me 140 divided by 12. Well, let's bring that up, okay? 140 divided by 12, okay, works out to be 11.666666 repeater. So I know this is going to be 11.66 repeater, okay? So what does this mean? I have currently 11 feet. 
because that's what I've converted this into. I also have this remainder of 0.666 repeating feet. All right, so I'm going to take what's left, which is 0.66 repeating feet, and I'm going to convert that back into inches. So feet will go back on the bottom, inches on top, and I know how I have 12 inches in one foot. So basically, all I'm doing is multiplying by 12. Let's bring our calculator back up. Let's get rid of that 11, okay, in front of that. Well, you could put in 0.6666 and just fill it up if you want to. Just like that is fine, okay? Multiply it by 12, and you should get a fairly close answer. And in fact, it is. There it is. This works out to be 8 inches. So your answer is 11 feet, 8 inches, okay? Get into the habit of looking at something like this and try to do it mentally. But if you can't do it mentally, dimensional analysis works the best out of all of them.